Yo, what is up, REI Unlocked family? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload a contact, some of the hacks for uploading contacts, and some of the things to look out for. So just let me know if you have any questions about this. I hope this video is super helpful. All right, so let me go ahead and get started with this right away. Okay, cool. So when you come into the system, you'll probably land on Launchpad or, you know, one of those places, Dashboard. Um, and what you want to do in order to upload your list when you first come in is hit the contacts tab. When you first open your contacts tab, it's going to be completely blank. There's going to be no one in here. There's going to be none of these smart lists. That's what we call them in the system, smart lists. There's not going to be any of these things in here. Um, so what you'll want to do to upload your first list is navigate to this import contacts button. There's a bunch of other buttons over here that do a bunch of other different important things that we'll explain in another video. But what you'll want to do is hit this import context. Let's see if I can make it. All right, so what you'll do, you'll go ahead and hit that button. And your file needs to be in a CSV file. So whatever file you have from whatever system, make sure you download it as a .csv. So that way it can go into the system cleanly. If you um, have a file with multiple phone numbers, the system can only take two phone numbers and two phone uh, two emails. There is a way to combine them. Um, I can show you how to do that in another video, but um, you'll want to go ahead and make sure you have just two phone number fields or two email fields, and it's a CSV file before you import. So you'll hit upload a file. And then you'll go ahead and select whatever file it is that you want to upload. I think I have one that I just was missing. Okay, here we go. Right. And so once you get that file going, once you select it, it's going to ask you to hit the next button. And here, we're just going to go ahead and map the file. So a couple of quick things that I want to note when you're doing this. <clears throat> so there, you never want to map the contact ID. So if that ever comes in your system, just hit select. That's just going to cause errors with some of the leads importing. Um, so you just want to clear that out. You want to map the first name, last name, all the da data that you have from your system. You'll probably have, like I said, phone numbers, emails. Quick note about this. One field that you'll want to make sure that you're paying extra attention to are the address fields. So right here, we got address, city, state, postal code. These are for your mailing addresses. So if you have mailing addresses with your leads or with your buyers, that's what you'll plug into these fields right here, address, city, state, postal code. If you have a property address, you want to make sure that you are mapping it to these fields, property address, property city, property state and property zip code. And when you do that, it'll automatically add to the property full address field. So just make sure you're doing that when you import your leads. And then once you map all your fields into the system, you hit this little box right here, don't import data in unmatched columns, and you'll go ahead and hit next. Um, and what you'll wanna do here, it depends on um, you know what you're trying to do, but I'll explain each feature. So this is obviously the name of the file and how it'll show up in the system. Like you can see mine in the background here. It'll show up like that, whatever you name it. If you want it to show up as a smart list that is saved in the system, you'll want to hit this little box, create a list of contacts from the import. So that way it pops up here anytime you log in the system. And you can go to manage smart lists and share it with your team members if you want them to have access to. All right, if you're uploading a new list, I always recommend doing add new and update existing contact records because, you know, if you have people that are duplicates, duplicates meaning they have the same phone number or email, that's what you'll pick here. It'll update the records with any new information you added. If you only do add new contact records, anyone who's a duplicate, it'll just error out and they won't import into the system. If you just do update, it'll only update records and it won't import any new people. So this is usually the best option, add new, unless you know it's just all the same list and you're just trying to upload, update a specific part of the records. 
you'll usually want to do this one right here. Okay. Uh, like I said, it's going to search the system for the phone or email. So right here, you'll just select phone as the primary. You'll hit add secondary preference and you'll add an email. That's obviously not on this list right here. So that's why it's not showing up, but you'll want to select those two for your lists. And then don't update empty values for existing records. So if you know that this is about to update some of your records, and you're trying to update a specific field that was maybe empty or, you know, might not have a value, you want to uncheck that so that the records that are getting updated, whatever fields are empty, they get past that new data. Okay. And then if there's any specific tags you want to add here, you know, you can add them right away. So if you know you want all these people to be responded to by the AI, you could add the uh, autopilot tag right here. You would just select that one. And then anytime any of these contacts reply, they're going to go ahead and already be, you know, in the AI's like listening zone. So the AI will be listening to whatever messages they send back and it will respond accordingly and uh, qualify them and try to book an appointment based on what contact role they are in the system. And so then um, after all of that, you can just hit submit. Mine is in green because I don't have any emails or phone numbers on these records. So that's why it's not allowing you to submit it. But when you have those details on your record, it'll allow it to go through and you can just hit submit. So that's how you import a record into the system. Those are some of the tips and hacks that uh, can make the process easier. If you have any questions, just let me know. Oh, and then also you can navigate to this URL right here ready to be imported and it will give you some more tips and tricks on how to uh, import a list and make sure that the files are you know properly properly set so i'll wait for this to load <clears throat> You can always click that and check it out. I think I got like 80 tabs open. So that's why my computer isn't as fast today. But um, <laughs> that is where you can take a peek at that. Um, as far as the multiple phone numbers. So what you want to do for that. I'll make that a separate video. I don't want to I don't want to make this video too long. So, yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. and We'll rock out from there. And then you're in luck. So this is what that link looks like tells you, you know, some of the ways you can import it. This is how you can upload multiple phone numbers right here and separate it with a delimiter. So I think this is a semicolon or a colon, don't quote me, um, a comma, whichever one is appropriate. And basically what you would do, there's a code in Excel and um, you basically combine multiple fields together. If you Google how to combine multiple Excel fields, multiple Excel field data together, it'll show you how to do it. And um, you would just upload whatever field that is where you combined all the phone numbers and map it to the additional phone number field. Not the phone number field. If you do it to that one, it'll only take the first one or error out you got to map that field with multiple phone numbers to the additional phones field. And then it'll import everybody in there. Even if that's where all your numbers are at and you don't have a regular phone, map it to additional phones. So that's how you do that. This is the link where you can get some more help in importing. And other than that, let's go. Let's get some deals. Peace.